your girl Miss My Chick on Tech here to do a get ready with me video. I'ma try not to do a talk through because I know they could be real long and I know I can talk. What I'm gonna do is just basically, you know, talk about the products I'm supposed to be reviewing. Um, all three of the products that we'll be reviewing are from Octolete. I told y'all I'm gonna need y'all to get on this Octolete. You guys, they have some nice makeup that you can try for free. Um, it doesn't mean you have to have a lot of subscribers or anything. Um, okay, so off of that, let's get on to this Get Ready With Me. I have been looking natural all day, uh, which is really fine. I really haven't beat my face. Y'all, I really don't know the last time I beat my face. Yeah. I'm going to beat this face using some of these products. First thing I'm going to do is the eye. Um, I do have a new product from Autolite. Um, and I have used this one already just one time. Uh, first thing I'm going to do for my eyes, I'm going to cancel out this darkness just with some concealer. Um, and do like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it, set the concealer. I'm just going to use, um, my setting powder to set it. Okay guys, so the first product is going to be Koki. Um, cosmetics. This is a smart palette. It comes just like this, you guys. Um, you I only seen Koki at um Walmart. I'm trying to open it. Okay, <laughs> so it comes like this. I have used it once, you guys. Um, this palette is a smart palette. It's basically like a neutral palette, and based off me using it for the first time, it does have fallout. I'm not gonna lie, it has fallout. Um, the pigmentation is pretty good. It's okay. And the texture of them, they feel really good. Like, they're really soft. Um, so, yeah, I do like this palette. Especially if you're a neutral kind of girl. And I'm very neutral. And it comes with a mirror. And then th those are the colors here. Also, it's very heavy duty. Like, this ain't no cheap product. Like, this is really heavy duty and very nice. I'm not sure how much it is in the store, you guys. But based off using it, I really do like it. So, we're going to do a eye makeup using this palette so for i'm gonna go ahead and start for a transitional color i'm going to use what do i want to use for i'm gonna use this brown and that is a matte brown it's right by the black The highlight, you guys, for my brow bone, if I can find. Mm. I use this cream color in the palette right here. I think that'd be a nice highlight. This one kind of shimmery got them right here and what I want to do is if it doesn't get a good payoff you can always spray your brush with like your setting spray or something that other brown color just a little bit and kind of blend in these eyeshadows together we have in hood eyes i am um, hooded eyes um it is you know to get a nice eyeshadow look can be challenging. I don't know if y'all, anybody of you guys are hooded eyes like me. So to give it some definition, um, to define it, I'm gonna use, I think that's like a true black at the end of the palette and kind of put that in my crease area. I'm 
go ahead and finish um, put on my eyeliner and my lashes and I'll be back when we get to the face okay guys so I finished with my eyes I put my lashes on I used Broadway lashes um, these are really good they were like a dollar twenty nine at your beauty store and I got number one oh I'm dropping shit so we're gonna get to the foundation this is gonna be a new foundation I'm trying um, also I'm gonna be using the Smashbox uh, photo focus primer first time using this even though I showed it in my haul video like a month ago don't judge me finished uh, my other primer so I was like okay let me go ahead and use this one so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and let it sit you guys and I'll be right back the foundation that we'll be doing I'll be reviewing today is by Lancome um, this is the Taunt It All I think that's how they say uh, look Taunt let me stop um, Taunt It All Ultra Makeup Stick um, and I got it in 510 suede, which I'm not sure if that's cool or neutral. I wanted to get 500, but they did not have it on the site. They basically had a certain range of colors that they wanted to let out. So this is what, this is how much product you get right here. And it's basically a stick. They do have the liquid one, which I heard the liquid one is the sh um, So I do want to use that one. Um, I want to try it. But yeah, it comes like this, you guys. It's just a stick foundation. Um, yeah, very nice, very cute. Um, I think you can purchase this at Ulta for like 42 bucks, I think, when I saw online. But I'll have them linked below for Octoly, you guys. So I got my hair pushed back. We're about to go ahead and start applying it. I'm going to use a brush. I'm not going to use a beauty blender. Only because um, I didn't clean it. So <laughs> I'm just being out of the job. So we're going to just use a flat top uh, brush. Uh, yeah, so let's get ahead. Let's go ahead and apply this. I'm going to use... So I'm going to apply it on one side so you guys can see what it looks like. color match me let me wipe it off we got it it has a smell does it i guess not okay maybe i'm tripping y'all okay let's go ahead and blend it out It looks really nice. It looks like skin. I think the color is okay. Um, yeah, so you can see versus this side. I think the cover is really good. I'm gonna tell you guys what the claims. Um, it's supposed to be, it does have, also has F S. it also has SPF 21 in there, so that's really good. So it's supposed to be an all day color wear comfort Portable Perfection Soft Matte Finish for all skin types. And it is a very nice soft look. Like it looks really nice and natural to me. So it's due supposed to be long wearing and it's supposed to, are you actually supposed to be able to wear this up to 24 hours, which I ain't gonna see if that's true or not. Um, yeah, you guys. So, um, and you can use these for a concealer or a foundation. So I thought that was really cute. Okay guys, so I let it sit, um, you know, see if it's going to oxidize. I don't think it oxidized at all. So I kind of feel like the color you get is the color that you get. It's a very natural finish. I say medium, and you probably can build it up, um, which is something I like. Sometimes I don't like to have, like, a beat, beat face, something very nice. It feels light. It feels like there's nothing on my face, y'all. Um, and your girl is I'm for real. Like, you know, y'all know me. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Okay, so the next product, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Waterproof All Day Extreme Concealer. And I got it in the color, uh, what color did I get? Oh, I'm about to drop this again. Uh, medium Deep, which is neutral. Um, Y'all, this Medium Deep is very light. I haven't tried it, but I did swatch it. Um, too light, honestly. So, if you're around my complexion, if you want to try this concealer... Medium deep, no ma'am. No ma'am. 
Um, and they did not have deep. Um, I'm pretty sure deep would have went better. It does have a scent to this. Yeah, it has a scent. It smells like, like a, you know, like a chemical scent. Um, so I'm going to try, I'm still going to try it, but I'm going to mix it with my Maybelline, um, Fit Me and Cafe just to bring some color to it. So I'm not going to use a lot. I actually think I put too much y'all now in this product you get 0.5 fluid ounces it's very creamy coming out um, and I didn't tell you how much you get with the foundation is 0.31 ounces but it's like a stick foundation so so let me go ahead and take my dirty beauty bender don't judge me don't do that and I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer Can. When it comes to my concealer, y'all, I can blend for days. Like my concealer and foundation, I can blend for days. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set um my concealer. Which I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer, you guys, with my Gravitonian um professional with my Gravitonian powder. Oh, that's too much. And I'm not gonna let it like bake or anything. I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm just dropping all of my clothes y'all. I'm gonna let it sit for while me basically contouring a little bit and then I'm gonna take it off. It's getting all of my shirt. My burgundy fall shirt. So I'm gonna contour just a little bit. Um With the look, um, honestly, this lamb plum is giving me a lot of life. <laughs> um, y'all, it looks really like natural. Let me guys know what you think about the color because, like, again, yeah, this is 510. I thought I would need maybe 500, but I guess maybe 510 may work. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Um, the concealer. It was just the color. If I could have got the color that I needed, which is in deep. So if you want to get this Estee Lauder and you're around my color, or maybe even a tone lighter, you may want to get deep instead of medium deep. But mixing it, you guys, actually came out really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready uh, with me. If you, have, if you have any questions about any products I use in this video, let your girl know. I really enjoyed this Get Ready with me, especially using new makeup. Um, yeah, you guys, so I'm feeling myself and I am loving this look. Yes. Okay. All right, loves. I'll see you guys in the next video, which I will be doing one very soon. So you might be seeing this look not once, but twice. Okay. All right, loves. See you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that button. Thumbs up the video. Share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, loves.